Good morning, my name is Tristan and I am a crane operator in the Netherlands and I thought I would show you guys what we actually do in a day. So right now I am two jobs for today, one in Austin Delft and another one in Amsterdam. So I am yeah just got the crane started and gonna unhook my trailer, then I'm gonna go that way. So anyway, have a fun time watching this video guys. everyone uh, yeah uh, I just arrived at the job site so I'm just gonna see what it's gonna do and then uh, we're gonna set up the crane quickly and yeah see you guys there Level quickly a little bit. Thing off.
down. I think I'm gonna grab my remote actually. Or maybe they'll get here. Just wait a second. plan for now is I have to lay one piece of uh, concrete floor plates in I believe the first or second house then I have to lift up some concrete to let them fill up the small gaps and then I believe that's it for these guys so it's a quick little job but they still needed the, uh, this crane so now I'm gonna Make sure I'm gonna pick up my counterweight and set my outriggers to full full width, so it's 100%. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. So now I'm picking up all four of them. You know what radius I grab my change from my yeah rigging box in the back. Just grabbing my four ton chain, so this is every single piece of chain five meters. Yeah, so this is lifting capacity four tons, and these are all metric numbers. And about there, ooh, five, yeah, five meters in length. So back in the cab, shoes off. having a jacket on at all times just not a day of business she is still quite a bit windy here wasn't expecting that Now I'm just slowly picking it up. See what the floor plate is going to do. We call this a channel plate. This one has lifting lugs in it. See what the guys want. for these guys to go up uh, you probably cannot see this right now but the floor is in that second house right there um, they're just prepping things because it has to go a little bit slanted into another wall 
So I'm just waiting for them and yeah, that's how sort of life goes. I don't know if you can see it there. Maybe that's, that's the camera on the boom tip. So I got a straight few down so I can sort of keep an eye on, the, on those guys, see what's happening. So those guys just gave me signals because uh, I they're just too far in that I cannot see them. So right now I'm just keeping my eye on my weight, see how much because I'm very slowly lying down. Told me to stop. And just I'll stop. Nothing no hands on the controls. So you just said lift just a tiny bit because they have to force it under the wall. So it's kind of a bit of a tricky situation for them because probably this floor was damaged somewhere during transport or during unloading. So it's a little bit like an after, uh, yeah, once the house is already assembled, it's kind of hard to pull it in. It's, it's kind of hard to explain right now. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of the gist of it. So you can feel the shaking of the crane and that's I'm actually moving the plate under the wall. And I don't know if you can see the chains and stuff. And it's almost, he's almost already in. So being crane operated, it has quite a bit of responsibility and just keep an eye on everything. These jobs are always, yeah, you never know what you get into because my uh, dispatch wrote something, but I'm not doing that at all because totally different than what I'm now doing. So right now I'm all the way down, they're just checking and I think the floor plate is good where he's supposed to be. And yeah, well, I actually went better than I thought I would. Oh, and if you're wondering what that clicking is, this clicking, that's actually my winch. So I know that my winch is going down. And actually I'm kind of fun that it's snowing quite a bit. And so right now I'm lifting a couple of buckets of concrete or spacey or whatever they call it here in the Netherlands. I'll probably have to do this a few times. And now we wait again.
Uh, so in between lifts, or maybe a few hours later, I'm also putting some doorway cousin or yeah, pre prefabricated doorways into the place as well. So yeah, we I do pretty much lift anything, anything that people cannot lift, I uh, I do it for them. Although this radio is really cracking and really terrible. I hope I got enough boom length to place it. So, and if you wonder what wind does to objects, it is a good example of what wind does. It's windy, but not that windy, but she's pretty much flying like a kite. So I'm just gonna wait, see if I can kind of catch it. Yep, he got it. Now I have to go in between the new house and the scaffolding in. So there's a little bit of space left. Luckily I got a 5 meters of uh, change. Er zit super veel storing op deze radio. Ik kan je bijna niet verstaan. Still a lot of crackling. Geef me even gewoon handsignaal, want ik versta je nog steeds niet. So just ask him to give me hand signals instead of the radio because it's not when construction workers they with things sometimes putting them down, I can feel them even before they say anything. So when I put something like a couple of hundred kilos down, I can feel the crane that's down. And then the construction workers are like, oh yeah, stop. I'm like, yeah, I already stopped. So the crane always gives you feedback when lifting things. Sometimes you can even feel it before it happens or before they tell you. You don't even have to see it. Uh, yeah, job's done. Now I'm backing up. Uh, now I'm going actually a little bit fast because I actually technically have to go to the next one. Yeah, oh well. So, everything we did this morning, now we gotta do it in reverse order. Take the chains off, counterweight's already going off.
it's always nice that if you ask people to help you. It's like ah, there they are. Picking up is always a little bit more work than laying them down because then it just lay down, chain next. So, planning uh, my vlog, and um, I sort of did not film my second job. And I just want to explain why that is, because Kyle leaves a huge gap in the video. And yeah, I find it kind of like uh, leaves a big space. The reason why I didn't film a second job is, first of all, I was 45 minutes late. Then the job wasn't as nice a job as I thought it would be. Uh, took longer than expected, uh, things got delayed because there wasn't a permit, uh, things weren't organized properly. And was middle in Amsterdam, so I kinda have was a job, but is not good to film. So just to explain it, that's why I didn't film it, and that's why there's a huge gap till the end when I back up the crane to its spot. So that's why I didn't film it, and I hope that explains a little bit. That's the, the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it's my first sort of vlog. I don't know what's gonna be. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see once I get done anything. Um, yeah, I hope I will improve in the future one. I, it's, it's kind of hard being an operator, or crane operator, vlog at the same time. Kind of worth to place the camera. So I hope the future will get better and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have questions, Please let me know, uh, I will try to answer them, and yeah, maybe next video I will show you something else and we'll see what happens, you never know in this industry. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe, uh, subscribe and like this video, and as I said, uh, if you have questions, please ask me, and uh, yeah.